Ich habe nein. Madam Speaker, I'm informed by Airports and Mauritius Company Limited that the post of Chief Executive Officer is vacant since 24 August 2018, following the expiry of a three year contract of employment of the former Chief Executive Officer. In, with regard to part A of the question, the filling of the post of Chief Executive Officer is presently under consideration by the Board of Airports and Mauritius Company Limited. As regards part B of the question, Mr. Dewananda Chelen, who holds the substantive post of Head Internal Audit and who is also the most senior officer at senior management level, is acting as the officer in charge of airports of Mauritius Company Limited against payment of a monthly allowance of 40,000 rupees. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister, whether you could circulate a copy of the CV of the acting officer in charge. I think I've seen it somewhere. If you don't have it, uh, acting Prime Minister, you may circulate it at a later stage. Yes, at a later yes. stage, I will, if I have it. Yes? Yes. You know, I know from the uh, acting Prime Minister whether he has been made aware of the strenuous industrial relations pertaining at the ML since. That person has taken over. The chairperson, the president of the union, was suspended <coughs> for, for filthy reasons. He had to go to the Supreme Court, won his case, won his case, and now again we have uh, suspended him. Is this not a case of great injustice uh, for a president of a union who is fighting for his members? Well, I'm aware that the president of the trade union was suspended. I'm aware. Uh, that the, an application for an injunction was lodged. I'm aware that after the injunction was issued, um, they retrieved the letter of suspension, and I'm aware that soon afterwards the um, employer uh, resuspended the employee. Well, there is a mechanism for redress for all these matters, and I'm sure that the due process of law will follow its course. Can I again ask the Prime Minister, I think Prime Minister, you have just given us facts, whether this is not a case of great persecution and injustice towards the chairperson of a trade union who is fighting for his members, going to Supreme Court, won his case, again suspended for another, for filthy reasons. C'est l'injustice. First of all, that is asking me to express my opinion about a given set of facts, which I can't do. Uh, whether I'm Prime Minister or whatever, I can't do this. Secondly, is to provide a, a legal opinion on these same matters. Of course. Yeah. Last. Yes. Can, can I know from the acting prime minister whether it is normal? It would be nearly one year, but it has become an, an habitude. At the MBC, we have an officer in charge. No replacement. No filling of anything. Here, we have another uh, officer in charge. It's not the practice. Uh, at least this government is, is, is doing to, to have Petit Copain at the head of, of parasitical bodies or organizations just to, to do their own dirty works? We are talking of an officer in charge. Uh, but yes, one year or elections are coming or whatever, we are talking of an officer in charge. Please, let me. Honorable Jagru, Honorable Bagwan, please. Honorable Bagwan, Honorable Bagwan, I am drawing your attention and I am calling you at least three times. Honorable Jagru, Honorable Bagwan, you seem to ignore that I am calling you to attention. Right? Honorable Jagru, 
I am drawing your attention to the fact that you should not make provocations because this causes interruptions in the house. Honorable Bhagwan, it's the last time that I called you to attention. Speaker, if the, uh, the honorable member answer now. Uh, the option which professional qualifications as follows. Institute of Internal Auditors, USA. Uh, certified Internal Auditor, the acronym is CIA. Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, UK. FCCA, ACCA member, ACCA affiliate. I also have his salary. Uh, he earns a basic salary as head of internal audit of 199,995. He holds an acting allowance as officer in charge of 40,000 rupees, making a total of 239,995 rupees. May, may, may I just ask the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, whether it would not circulate a, proper, a full CV I am the one who asked for this. Can you give us a full CV, uh, his schooling, whatever, whatever? We can see what it's all about. Well, I don't have his full CV with me. I shall try and see what happens. It's not your man, you've asked him. No comments, please. No question. No comments. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Yes. He's sitting no, but here. You may know what you're saying, yes, but I've said here, that you shouldn't make any comments. Your man is question. sitting here, yes. B3 with zero. Honorable Ariram, you are making provocations? Yes. Madam Speaker, Section 13 of the Mauritius Broadcasting Corporation Act provides for the appointment of a Director General of the Corporation, and subsection 2A reads as follows. The Director General shall be appointed by the Minister with the approval of the Prime Minister on such terms as he thinks fit. Since the Honourable Prime Minister is Minister responsible for matters pertaining to the MDC, it is therefore the Honourable Prime Minister himself who appoints the Director General. In reply to Parliamentary Question B306 on 8 May 2018, the substantive Prime Minister had informed the House that he had appointed Mr. Munendra Nudi Sharma Ramsaran to act as Director General of the NBC with effect from 29 April 2018. Pursuant to subsection 2B of the NBC Act, the Acting Director General is responsible for the control and ma management of the day-to-day -day business of the corporation. The assignment of such duties to the chairperson of the board, therefore, does not arise. So, it's clear that the, it is the intention of the Prime Minister not to fill the, the job. But this gentleman is, is acting, she is dragging on. So, can I know from the uh, acting Prime Minister, he was raised a matter but with the Prime Minister. This question has been raised here in Parliament. And that it's urgent, the instruction of the Malays and MBC, and whether it's not urgent to have this uh, uh, post of director general be filled on a permanent basis. Well, the Prime Minister decided to fill uh, that post. He is the general manager, albeit in an acting capacity. I think for the filling of a job on a permanent basis. It has become an habit by this government to have acting director, acting uh, general manager. So my question is that uh, through uh, to the Prime Minister, through the acting Prime Minister, when will have a full-fledged permanent uh, uh, director general? If you can raise, uh, raise the question, the PM. That will depend on the Prime Minister. <laughs>